This week, Rapid City residents get updates on a land transfer project involving the Native American community. The work coincides with global headlines about discovery of a burial site at a formal tribal boarding school in Canada. Almost a decade ago, a volunteer-driven effort was launched to verify details about Native children buried at a former federal boarding school on Rapid City's west side. That research paved the way for an historic agreement with the city to establish parcels of land for Native purposes. Project volunteer Valeria Big Eagle says news out of Canada and the remains of 215 children found there adds an emotional element to the local effort. We've heard these horror stories of children that were, you know, killed and buried. And we've heard this from our elders and it's really, really challenging. But to acknowledge it is helping us heal as an Indigenous community. Since the Canadian discovery, the U.S. Interior Secretary has announced a review of former sites used to assimilate Native children into American life. Big Eagle says local tribes won't consent to digging up graves, but are open to looking at other parts of the land. New details about the land transfer will be shared at a public meeting this Thursday, including converting some of the property into a Native American community center. That follows a resolution approved by the city council last fall, acknowledging that tribes were never given a portion of the land long after the school closed. Fellow project volunteer Eric Zimmer notes the non-Native population can share in this experience as well. What we're talking about doing is undertaking work that sort of raises the quality of life for everyone in the community through a long, careful, deliberate process of trying to understand and respond to the more challenging parts of our history. And volunteers were recently recognized for their work with an honorable mention in the Outstanding Public History Project Award issued annually by the National Council on Public History. Mike Moen, Greater Dakota News Service.